Hello, you beautiful people out there. What is going on? This is your friend Birdie coming at you fast from their Destiny TTK exotic loot guide video. And today, we are going to be looking at the exotic scout rifle known as the Tlaloc. 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 Whatever. You know what I mean. That one. The Warlock exclusive one that you get by getting to rank 3. With the gunsmith, you complete his quest, you scrap with scout rifles, yada yada, you, you get the fucking scout rifle kills, you know how this works. And you get this thing, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Got really decent rate of fire, impact range, across the board, really good stats, and it has 20 bullets and a mag, which is, you know, larger than most scout rifles in this game at the moment. So, pretty nice. Uh, you have the three different kinds of ballistics. I like to go smooth ballistics, whatever gives me the most range and impact. Uh, then I have Eye of the Storm. This weapon becomes more accurate as your health gets lower. That's just a passive ability. You don't really tend to notice it too much. Because you're not just like, Oh, hey, I'm in the red now. I want to see how much more accurate I am. It's, you really don't care. You'd rather not be in the red anyway. So, it is helpful though. You know, maybe you need to land those crucial shots to prevent you from getting sniped or something. You know, pretty useful. Then you have hand loaded. Weapon has effective. Weapon has effective, yes. Weapon is effective at an extended range. Armor piercing rounds and injection mold, but I decided to go with hand loaded just to get the most overall beneficial purpose out of this weapon. And then here is the money maker right here. We got overflow. This weapon has better handling, rate of fire, and stability while the wielder super is charged, which works very well with Sunsinger. Because a lot of people don't use the super of Sunsinger until they're dead, which they use to revive themselves from the grave. So this is, it turns into a pretty much like an even better scout rifle once your super is charged. Uh, the rate of fire is definitely a nice thing. The stability is definitely a nice thing. Um, the stability pretty much compensates for the rate of fire, so you're still shooting with the same accuracy, but just faster, so it is nice. And it has better handling, meaning that, you know, you switch weapons faster, you, you move with it a bit better, so it's just an overall nice scout rifle. Uh, is it anything over the top amazing? Not really. It's just a, a really good scout rifle. Uh, so if you if you like scout rifles, then this is a great weapon for you. So let's actually stop talking about it and actually see it in action. I meant to say action, by the way. But anyway, here it is, shooting Scions in the face. You're going to notice its fire rate. This is like its max fire rate that I'm shooting at it right now. Then notice the difference once my super is charged, how much it does actually pick up the pace. I continue to shoot it here super quickly. Look at that. So you guys can see how fast the fire rate does change. And it is actually very stable, very, very accurate for that said fire rate. So this thing is pretty freaking awesome. There's a lot of DPS, very quick like. Uh, drains the mag pretty quickly now that the rate of fire is up. But it's just, it's a beautiful scout rifle. It's just a great scout rifle. One of the better scout rifles in the game so far, obviously, because it has to be. It's an exotic and it's amazing. So definitely, definitely use this if you are a warlock. I would recommend it tenfold, especially if you like being a sun singer. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.